Former President Donald Trump is predicting he'll be indicted in New York as early as tomorrow. And security is being stepped up around the Manhattan courthouse. If and when it happens, the 45th president would become the first in U.S. history to face criminal charges. The case involves payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels in the weeks before the 2016 election. John Finolio tracking late developments for us. John. Sure, Micah, so far there's no official word on whether his arrest is imminent, as the former president has claimed. But New York City officials are bracing for something to happen, even if it's still unclear when or where. Tonight, New York City police are bolstering security around the state courthouse in Lower Manhattan in anticipation of potential protests by supporters of former President Donald Trump. Over the weekend, Mr. Trump claimed on social media that he will be arrested Tuesday after being indicted by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg for charges related to alleged hush money payments to former adult film star Stormy Daniels. Trump called on his supporters to protest in the streets if he's arrested. The American people have every right to peaceably assembly and to let their voice be heard. But that being said, there can be no tolerance for the kind of violence that we saw on January 6th. The former president insists the investigation is a political witch hunt. Nobody's above the law. I think it's very important for the Manhattan DA to look into this thoroughly. Folks always are out there protesting what they see as an, an unjustified arrest or an unjustified indictment, but you want to make sure it's peaceful. We don't want history to repeat itself in, in overly negative ways. Violence is never the right answer, and I always worry about it. But this is another case of Donald Trump just trying to advance the interests of Donald Trump, not of the rest of the nation. So far, there's no official word that an indictment will be handed down. The Manhattan DA's office declined to comment on the possibility of an arrest. Some Republicans, like Ohio's Jim Jordan, are calling for the Manhattan DA to testify over his investigation into the former president. We don't think President Trump broke, broke the law at all, but what concerns me is what they're going to do based on what's been reported. Entirely possible, given what the former president has said to his supporters that we will see protests and that they could turn violent. Loyola Marymount University political professor Jessica Levinson says Trump's legal jeopardy could potentially benefit him ahead of the next election. I think in the short term, facing indictment could actually help the former president because he said to his base so often, they're out to get us, we're the victims, I'm the only one who can protect you. In the long term, if you get to a general election, and you get to an audience where you're trying to get independents and moderates, I think they could just say too much drama. Maybe we want Trumpism without Trump. The former president is also under investigation in Georgia over allegations he tried to push state officials to overturn 2020 election results in his favor. A special counsel is also investigating his handling of classified documents and his role in the attack on the Capitol two years ago. Micah. John, thank you.